Next is from Daniel French. The subject is Woods. Recently on the show, Conan praised the Gunther versus Xavier Woods match with SmackDown. It was a really great match. I personally think that Woods is a guy who generally could be a top guy. He's a good wrestler and he's a nerd in real life. So he knows what younger people nerds would react to. What I'd like to know, though, is that recently Woods has been cutting promos on his social media. And I'd like to know what you guys think of them. And also, what do you think his realistic future moves with WWE? He's clearly looking for a solo push. Also, Billy is a miserable, bitter old nerd that dresses like a teenager cannot allow anyone else to be happy about anything. AEW sucks, but he's so angry about them selling all those Wembley tickets. I'm so glad you guys dumped his boring, self-obsessed ass. Interesting. Um, so, uh, do you get this promo, Joe? Yep. Pull it up. I want to see this. This is Xavier Woods' Instagram promo, by the way, on his mm-hmm. page. I got following. Oh, by the way, we're going to have a big surprise in the uh, outro. Oh, nice. The Instagram is back. Oh. Instagram volume. Hang on, let me reload it. I'll probably have to turn the headset up. Kingston and myself, Xavier Woods, were both drafted to Monday night. Now, I've seen a few people saying that New Day's already done it all. What else is there even left? For them to do and my response would be you realize that we're not here because we're six five you realize that we're not here because we're 275 pounds we are here because we can talk and wrestle our asses off so yes we could go to monday night raw and rest on our laurels ride out the rest of our contract collect these fat checks pick up that hall of fame phone call get our rings and be out but that's not how the new day rolls because that's not growth if you are not growing you are not living and if you are not living then you are dying and the new day thrives on competition which means that we have to constantly test ourselves against every single contender in that locker room and that means that chad gable we are looking at you Akira Tozawa, Shinsuke Nakamura, Ricochet, Bronson Reed, Judgment Day, J.D. McDonough. We are looking at you. Imperium with the Intercontinental Championship locked up tight. We are looking at you, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, the current WWE Undisputed Tag Team Champions of the World. We are looking at you. And there's a bright new shiny championship that Seth Rollins keeps talking about week after week. We don't do this every that Seth Rollins is able to accomplish in this industry. Matter of fact, he's one of the guys from our generation to help pave the way so that the rest of us could become as successful as we currently are. But considering the fact that one of his claims to this championship is the fact that he beat Roman Reigns by disqualification, and I hold that same exact accolade, that tells me that at some point him and I are going to have to have a confrontation. So what is left for the new day to do? I guess you're going to have to tune in to Monday nights because with this exemplary roster, I feel that things are about to get very, very interesting. He's doing like, he's doing a parody of a promo there. That's what I think he's doing on that channel. Um, I thought that was really good. I didn't get that vibe. I thought he's like over, I thought thought it was like overacting. Like a, (laughs) maybe because you're not used to that style out of him. Yeah. Next to Anthony Hunt, some of his Roman Reigns question. K-1 well, let me just say, they should have taken some of that interview and edited it and put it on Raw. That's a good interview, and I like him a lot. Very. Remember, he came out to that one man thing that we, that we did. Yeah. And he was super cool. Yes, absolutely. Next, you, Man- saw, you saw him uh, backstage at the Hall of Fame too, right? I think I saw a picture yeah. of you guys or something. Yes. Yes, ne- that's right. Next is from Anthony Hunt, some of his Roman Reigns question. K100 crew. Greetings, guys. Before I start, I was wrong about Reigns. He's the GOAT. Dirt Sheets are reporting his next three opponents will be AJ Styles, Cross, and Lashley. <laughs> I don't know about that. This is an amazing streak. How long do you think he can keep it going? Can he actually break San Martino's record of 2,883 days? Also, what's your take on Eagles draft moves? Thanks. Have a great day. Sincerely, Anthony Hunt. Well, we already talked about the Eagles draft moves earlier. All right. So next is from... Uh... Ryan Damone, subject is Vampiro's Alzheimer's. For the last five years, Vampiro's been posting on social media he's senile, including not being able to find his way home, being confused at bed, a bed lost while driving. Why is he still allowed to wrestle? Is he lying, exaggerated? Is it okay for a person with Alzheimer's to wrestle in Mexico? 
That question's for you, well, obviously, Conan. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what he has. I mean, he's he ain't afraid to exaggerate. That's for sure. Um, I doubt he has by he has problems finding his house. You know, um, I don't know. With him, you never know. You know, you don't know if he's working you or not. Next is from Josh Doan, and the subject is women versus men in wrestling. What's the point of having women versus men on American TV wrestling? Everyone knows a guy can't have any offense that looks so fake when the 120-pound girl managed to avoid every move, outsmart, and inflict damage to the male wrestler that doubles her weight every single time. Why even do this? Can you imagine this on TV or movies? Even Wonder Woman can lose a guy once in a while. I have daughters, and this is an unrealistic message to them. Thanks, Josh. Um, I, I agree. Okay, because I've said, bro, if you're going to put the men versus women in wrestling, quite often you need to do just straight-up squashes. Where the guy just goes out and beats her in like 15, 20 seconds to sell the perception that you know of, of what it is. But if you just if you never do that and they always have competitive matches, it makes no sense at all. You know? So like when I did that thing with with uh, in Impact in Philly, remember Joe? Yeah, when you and won I, the battle But I did the <laughs> exhibition with that girl. Yeah. And I, I just I just punked her. You know, and then I, I did something where I missed something and she did but then, but I I looked like I just dominated her. Right, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, so you got to do that every once in a while, and, and if you never do that, it just creates a universe where the suspension disbelief is just going to go out the window. I mean, would you agree with that? Yeah, well, you know, that all started in Mexico in AAA, so I know how to book those matches, and obviously, I don't put some girl that's 120 pounds against a guy that's 300 where it doesn't right. look believable. But I'll put girls and guys around their same size or height. You know, mm -hmm. and then out of nowhere, every now and then you get a surprise. A girl might do something that you don't expect for a pop, but you can book it, you know. But a lot of times, yeah, that's the problem. You put girls that are way too small and it doesn't look believable. Next is from Adam Des Moines. The subject is Disco Gifts and Boxing Match. Disco, how would you like the special gifts you received in the mail recently? What? The gifts, plural? I got one painting that was pretty cool. Thank you for that one. Uh, who is everyone picking for the picking for the fight of the century on 513 live from London in between Wings of Redemption, AK Richard, and that other f Boogie 2988? It's two long time YouTube video game playing streamers with a combined weight of over 800 pounds that are possibly AW fans. It will be a free fight broadcasted live on May 13th at YouTube on Keem Stars Boxing Channel here. <laughs> Adam, you actually think we're picking? I, I've no, I've never even heard of this. I'm not, I'm not picking anybody. So, yeah, that's a dumb question. Yeah, should we suspend Adam for that? Like, how would why we not? know that? Yeah, why, <laughs> why not? Give him a week. Give See him a Adam. week. Yeah, you get Adam. You gotta be, you gotta read the room better. We could, couldn't care less about that. Uh, next one, Garrett Jones, and the subject is uh, thank you at fundraiser. Um. Hey, K hey, K one, keep it 100. My name is Garrett Jones. Just want to say thank you guys for providing endless entertainment and bringing the good energy. Past few months, I've been dealing brain tumors on, on top of trying to finish med school. So life has been hard on me, but never fails. Y'all drop some entertainment can bring the vibes. I'm dropping the link to my fundraiser. I don't know if you can share it, but if you can, I appreciate it and don't have much family. Once again, thanks for what you guys do. Hope guys stay healthy and keep burying Joe. Uh, we will continue to do that. Yeah, this guy's got a link. Where should we put this link, Joe? I'll put it on... Uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, yeah, Instagram. Put, put it know. up. We, we, we'll help you out there, brother. Um, hope, hope you get it, well. I just, I just lost a friend in my fantasy football league to brain, brain cancer. Uh, yeah, horrible. Yeah. Um, but I would like to point out that he made a request that you guys keep burying me, and we don't take requests. So maybe. No, I won't. Can, Joe, can we. Do you consider that a request, Conan? Can we continue to bury Joe? <laughs> no, 100%. That's part of our DNA. <laughs> right. Next is from William Molina Jr. Somebody's Jerry Springer. Dear K100, what is your opinion of Jerry Springer? Vince Russo acknowledges it was Jerry Springer show that was the basis for his booking. Jerry Springer acknowledges himself in various interviews to show ruined society. What do you think? I was a fan of Jerry Springer. It was it's like I think a lot of stuff was obviously scripted if you come to think of it, you know. But uh, it was entertaining television. You know, it was kind of like a cultural icon back then. Do you agree with that, Conan? Yeah, it was must see TV for sure, and he was very um controversial in an era where controversy really sold and, you know, you could really get wild on TV. And I think that probably Vince Russo was probably also, um, um, what do you call this? Um, what's the word? Influenced uh, by um, Stern, like mm -hmm. the Stern, right. the yeah. New York radio jock, yep. you know, you know, the probably Morton Downey when he was on, Jerry yep. Springer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
Because those shows were hot. Right. You know, he, he kind of, that's the one thing Vince did very well. He, he mimicked, found what was hot on TV and kind of used that style on the show and it drew, you know? Yep. Next is from QJ, and the subject is Alex Wright's Psychosis Favorite Matches. Uh, hi, Conan and Disco. I'd love to watch your clips on YouTube. I guess the first question is for Conan. Is there a reason why Psychosis, Psychosis wasn't as huge as Rey Mysterio? Because in my opinion, I don't know if Rey would be where he is without the 1995 ECW feud of the year with Psychosis. What? Growing up, Psychosis my favorite WCW wrestler, and I wish WWE brought him back, brought the mask, brought him back with the mask like they did Rey. They kind of did it for ECW One Night Stand, but not what it should have been. Also, for younger fans, Disco and Conan, do you guys have a match in WCW where you would think of as, as being some of your best work that we can see on Peacock? I always loved Alex Wright and Disco Inferno matches. I don't know what Alex is doing nowadays, but if he isn't teaching wrestling, that would be a travesty. Thanks, Quinn. Uh, Alex he is, is teaching, teaching wrestling. wrestling. Yeah, yeah. Well. in Germany, yeah. Um, my match against Dima Lanko, everybody likes. If you want to go ahead and watch that, that's on Peacock. It's uh, from Batch of the Beach 96 to show where... I had a very prominent match on the show, one of the greatest pay-per-views of all time with one of the most incredible things in history when Hulk Hogan turned. So, how about that? Um, and secondly, the, the, uh, Ray would not have... his EC, What was the ECW feud in 95 like, Conan, with, with Ray and, and Psychosis? Really oh, good. Big, yeah. yeah, it was really good. Yeah. They, they won that crowd over, man, and people people loved Ray and ECW. 